Sherlock Studios presents The Life and Times of Dr. Henry Gray. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Join us once again as we explore the man behind the skin. Hello. I'm glad you've decided to join me for a second episode. It makes me very happy. Now, first, we will explore what is behind me. Now, nobody was able to accurately describe the picture, so I will tell you what it is. It is an anterior cerebellar aneurysm. Now, that's really too bad, but it happens. So, now you know. You are more intelligent for knowing. I am glad. Now, we will welcome our first guest. His name is Ryan. He lives at 84 Homes. <coughs> we had an incident tonight. Let's hear about it from him. Hello, <coughs> Ryan. Good evening. Hey, you don't look so good. Tell me, what happened? I, um, I love popcorn. Yes, so do we all. I decided to cook fresh popcorn on the stove. And I put immense amounts of of all the vegetable oil yes. into the base of this pot. Mm. And I left it there on high heat and I went upstairs to sing to a song. What song, Ryan, are you talking about? Tell me. Your face lets me know that you need me. There's a truth in your eyes saying you'll never leave me. But the touch of your hand says you'll catch me whenever I fall. Thank you, Ryan. I'm glad we now know. I understand why you were singing to that song. <laughs> it's quite nice, I guess. Yes. Hmm. Now, that is enough touchy-feely subjects for one night. What do you think has happened to your lungs? I inhaled a, a lot of smoke. Well, yes, this is a problem. Let me tell you first about the color of your lungs. <coughs> this comes from Grey's Anatomy, pictured here. Those are your lungs. The color of the lungs at birth is a pinkish white. In adult life, a dark slate color modeled in patches, and as age advances, this modeling assumes black color. The coloring matter consists of granules of carbonaceous substance deposited in the alveolar tissue near the surface of the organ. Ryan, let me tell you, tonight you have deposited an extreme amount of carbonaceous substance in your alveolar tissue. Oh. <coughs> yes, that is right. Carbonaceous substance. Try to get it out. Wow. Thank yes. you, Dr. Gray. No problem. Thank you. No problem. Now, to further elucidate this concept, I would like to invite my dear friend and our next guest in probably a person who will frequent the show, David. Hello, David. Now, unfortunately, David does not feel like talking very much tonight. He wants to say, shall we say, nothing at all? It's okay, David. You can just pass me your lung. I will display it for all to see. Thank you, David. I now have your lung in my hand. It's quite amazing, light actually, so airy. Unless it is deposited with carbonaceous substances. <coughs> then that is not cool. It becomes heavy. And I am sad. You should be too. It is your lung. Well, actually it's David's lung. But, uh, yes. So, that looks like it's a night. You must be sure to join us next time. I will be going to visit Santa, sitting on his lap, taking a trip to McMaster University campus. I hear it's quite the place. Hmm. I will see for myself. I will see you next time.
thank you for watching.